The Super Mario Brothers movie from 1993 is celebrating its 30 year anniversary. How does that make you feel? It's coming out with a collection called Trust the Fungus. Dear God, that's depressing to even say out loud. Anyway, I don't really like this movie, but I know a guy that happens to be a fan, or at least he's a fan of talking about it with a, a level of enthusiasm I can't even begin to muster. It's Tony from Hack the Movies. I thought it'd be fun to once in a while showcase a video from a fellow creator in the movie space that I happen to appreciate and happen to respect and like. Tony will have to do for the time being. He's in the background on the TV there. I am going to play in its entirety a video that he did on 1993 Super Mario Brothers where he got the work print video footage and he goes through it meticulously explaining the differences. He puts out videos every single week on the channel, multiple times usually. He has full-blown 45 minutes to an hour and a half or longer podcast discussions about random nostalgic films. He also does live streams every month where he goes over all the new movies that come out. I'm usually in those. He's collaborated with me several times over the years. We've, we've grown quite fond of each other. I respect him and I wanted to give him a shout out. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe to Hack the Movies, it would, it would be great for both of us because he's gonna do the same thing on his channel. He's gonna put a video out for me and encourage his friends to come over here. We wanna really grow both of these spaces and, and just become a, a, a nice family. Really make this house a home on YouTube. So subscribe to Hack the Movies, check out his content, it's really good, and uh, you get a little bit of everything from both of us. All right, here's the video, enjoy. Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and as promised, I'm here to talk about the Super Mario Brothers 1993 work print. Been really looking forward to this one. Uh, I hyped it up in the most recent episode. If you didn't watch that, we went back and we covered the 93 Mario Brothers movie. That episode did very well. It got on the radar of some people, like SMB Movie Archive, who are really awesome. They are a uh, fan like Twitter account and YouTube uh, page, uh, they archive everything involved with this movie. They didn't like the video too much and they made it known, but we talked in DMs, we got to know each other and uh, yeah, they were actually a huge help with this video. Um, a really, really big help. And I'm gonna mention them later, uh, but yes, it's time to talk about this movie and we gotta shout out our boy, Tyler Yost who always supplies me with these TV cuts and work prints doing the Lord's work. He got me the original work print version. This is not what is called the Morton Janko cut, which I don't even think is really the Morton Janko cut. Cause I don't know if that's like an official cut by them. Uh, I don't think there is an actual director's cut of this film. Uh, I think that version, they just took the work print and they spliced in scenes from the finished film. This is not that. This is the straight up work print. Uh, Cause like, I like to do that on the show. I like to just see what the movie looked like in its raw form. In this video, I'm gonna focus on things that stood out to me or uh, things that answered questions that I had about the theatrical cut. Uh, I'm not gonna do like a detailed breakdown. I mean, this is a work print. It has what a lot of work prints have, like someone filling in for the actor cause the ADR wasn't finished. Oh, has Daniela, is she okay? There's some unfinished effects. There's like a lot of uh, alternate or extended like shots and whatnot. I'm not gonna do a detailed breakdown, but if you want a detailed breakdown, I found one at bootlegcomparisons.com, I believe. I will link to that down below. They have a very, very detailed breakdown. Let's get into this work print, or should I say, let's -a go. Get it? Cause, cause Super Mario. So there's no animated intro or titles in this version of the film, but it does have a new shot of Koopa actually walking around New York looking for Daisy. The scene of Daisy hatching from the egg and Koopa getting caught in a cave-in is completely missing. I'm assuming at this point in production, they just hadn't gotten to that scene yet. It confused us in our review that the people called the Mario Brothers for plumbing and then the Scapellis beat them to the job. Uh, in this version, we actually get to see the Marios and the Scapelli guys argue. It turns out Mario actually grew up with Scapelli. 
Uh, and they have a bit of a rivalry. So I think the Scapelli guys beating them to the jobs, I think it's like a personal thing. Like Scapelli is going out of his way to put Mario out of business. And sure enough, Mario loses the job to the Scapellis. The business owner picks them over the Marios. And the Scapellis are legit bad. They are like uh, lying to the guy. They're exaggerating how long the job's gonna take. And I believe they're the exact same guys who uh, flood the tunnel later in the film. That's a washer, maybe a hoax. You're looking at a two hour job. These guys are trying to snow you. We mentioned in the review that this film has some really, really nice match shots. And to show you how nice they are, here's a uh, side by side comparison before and after they added the effect. Continue their search for dinosaur bones. So we were confused about something we saw in the Devo chamber scene. And we had a theory that maybe something was cut. Did you notice <laughs> that he's sitting on an empty Koopa suit, uh, Goomba suit, and that there's slime everywhere? Yeah. I noticed the slime on the yeah. floor because during the fight sequence, the guy, one of the guys slips in the slime. I'm like, where, where did that slime come from? Yeah, because Toad, right. Toad went in with the I suit. I thought someone vomited or took a no, shit. No, no, Toad went in <laughs> with the suit on and then got up, and that was it. And then they throw him onto an empty suit full of slime. So I think he tested the de-evolution to show that he could turn people into primordial ooze. Turns out I was right. There was something cut. Also, I have a hard time saying primordial. Oh, I got it right that time. A random guy sneezes and Koopa throws him in the Devo chamber. The effect never got finished, but he's the one who turns into the ooze that's on the ground. There's also a small scene of Koopa's guards looking concerned after he comes out of the chamber. You all right, sir? Oh, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. As a matter of fact, I feel very invigorated. After all, I did invent this machine. It's not the first time I've been in this machine, is it? Is it? By the way, I want to apologize for my co-host bringing up politics in our review. A lot of people in the comments were upset that we mentioned a real former president and thought it wasn't appropriate to bring him up in this movie about the Super Mario Brothers. I should have cut the politics out of this review. Much like this movie cut out how elections work in Dino Hatton. Does anybody else went against this guy? Uh, Cooper the Sensitive ran four years ago, but he only got 2%. No, no, I'm talking about somebody else other than Cooper. No, Cooper doesn't like that. But you mean you can vote for anybody as long as it's Cooper? What kind of system is that? Democracy. Politics. And then there's a rap song from Iggy and Spike, and, uh... Yeah, I would have cut this one, too. It's time to get rid of you, you know, know who. who. A radical development is taking place. Iggy And Spike will, will set, set the, the pace. pace. Koopa. The, the party poopa. The poopa scoopa. This one's kind of interesting. There's an alternate shot of their costume reveal. In this version, they don't do the glug, 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 glug. It's just them there standing heroically. Another question we had in our review was what happened to their Thwomp Stomper boots? They have them in the elevator and then they deal with the Goombas and then the boots are now gone. It's revealed in this cut that they left them in the elevator. I assume because they were too heavy because they had to climb out through the top or maybe they would have been too loud because they had to like, you know, walk up on the wall to get out of the roof of the elevator. Whatever the reason, there at least was a shot to show that the boots were left behind. In the theatrical cut, they just disappear between edits and just really, really confused us. This is a weird one. In the theatrical cut, Mario gets reminded of Daniela and he says this. Daniela, I promise to take it to WrestleMania. But according to the work print, he originally was going to take her somewhere else. Daniela, I promise to take it to the roller derby. In the episode, we were also really confused by Scapelli's reaction to the Twin Towers turning into the Koopa Towers. Look! It's Koopa's Tower! Those guys will do anything for publicity. That line is kind of weird and doesn't make sense. In the work print, however, it makes a ton of sense. So the girls, the missing Brooklyn girls, when they get back to Earth, they're telling all the reporters at the dig site about the dinosaur world. And they mentioned that the Mario brothers saved them. 
Scapelli, upon hearing that Mario was involved, he thinks this is a publicity stunt done by them. And he says that line before everything starts uh, merging. No, no, not just any plumbers, the Mario Brothers. <laughs> Those guys will do anything for publicity. Hey, you can't go in there. Look! What is it? It makes way, way more sense. I don't know why they cut it the way they did in the theatrical cut. Also, it's funny to see the Goombas materialize. One of them even materializes in a porta potty, but the effect wasn't done yet. <laughs> now here's a shot of some animatronic T-Rexes in front of a blue screen and the final payoff to the Koopa pizza gag. There's a weird scene uh, while everyone's celebrating in Dino Hatton where Iggy and Spike talk about how they need new jobs. And I believe they're in Koopa's office and it makes it seem like they're going to take over. But that doesn't really make sense with the ending of the film. It feels a little weird. There is no scene of the king being restored to a human, which makes sense because I don't know how that even happened in the movie. No one turned a machine on. No one shot him with a gun. He just magically turns back into the king. In this version, that didn't happen, which means the dialogue with Daisy and Luigi is now different. Until we can get things settled here and I can get to know my father. Until we can get things settled here and I can get my father back. Even the post credit scene with the Japanese businessmen and Iggy and Spike uh, goes on a little bit longer in the work print. Iggy and Spike do their joke about what to name the game. But then it cuts to the business guys realizing that Mario Brothers sounds like a way better name. Mario Brothers. Hi, hi, hi. Mario Brothers. Yeah, hi. And that is it for the Super Mario Brothers 1993 work print uh, review. I really enjoyed seeing some of these deleted scenes. Uh, it answered a lot of questions I had about the film. The film to this day is very, very, very divisive. Some people love it. Some people still hate it. Uh, we go into that in our episode. Please go back and watch that episode. And again, uh, check out SMB Archive. They, uh, on their YouTube channel, have a bunch of the deleted scenes there for your viewing pleasure if you don't feel like hunting down a clip. And also follow their socials. They uh, post a lot of really cool behind-the-scenes photos or just, just cool stills in general. Uh, they did call me out, and I apologize to them. They called me out because in the review, I said I torrented the movie. Now, I had a VHS copy, but if you're a fan of this channel, you'll know that I'm in the middle of moving, so I didn't have my VCR set up. And you're probably wondering, Tony, how do you not own this on DVD? Well, I tried to buy it on DVD from a thrift store, and then I made the mistake of not checking the case before I left. And inside was a copy of How to Train Your Dragon. So that's on me. I didn't want to promote torrenting the movie the only reason i mentioned it was because it the torrent insights they put their watermark on movies which i always thought was pretty weird um yes uh you guys are all probably learning because apparently the dvd for mario brothers is selling really really well on amazon right now it's really hard to watch this movie legitimately unless you own it uh so yes that's why i torrented the movie and i apologize to them but yes snb archive they are really really great check out their channel uh follow their socials Again, shout out to Tyler Yost for supplying me these work prints and TV cuts. He is the best. I know I already plugged it a bunch of times, but yeah, we do a podcast every Monday uh, where we talk about movies new and old. Sometimes it's even just film topics. Uh, Thursdays, unless I get held up and the episodes come out on a Saturday like this one. Thursdays, I usually put out a uh, smaller topic video. Uh, sometimes on Thursdays at the end of the month and sometimes in the beginning of the month, I do live episodes. Lately, we've been doing live monthly wrap up episodes and you can be damn sure we're going to talk about the new Super Mario Brothers movie in this month's live wrap up video. So look forward to that. If you like what you see here and you're becoming a fan, please join our Patreon. If you're not ready for that, try being a YouTube channel member. You get everything that the patrons get at that $2 tier. Uh, and if you want more, head over to Patreon, become a $5 patron. You get commentary tracks. We got one coming out for House of a Thousand Corpses. 
Uh, so that's going to be fun. Oh, the $2 tier is a bunch of bonus videos of behind the scenes photos. And speaking of those live episodes I mentioned earlier, at the $10 tier, you get exclusive live streams, exclusive wallpapers, and you get to be on the live episodes briefly. Uh, so you can actually be part of the show. That's so much fun. It's so much fun. This is my main gig now, so please consider paying for those platforms. Okay, everyone, let me know what you think of this work print. Uh, was there something I forgot in the work print that you thought I should have mentioned? Let me know. And again, for the millionth time, go check out SMB Archive and see all the fun stuff they have over there. Oh, one last thing. Movie Dumpster. Right before I shot this, they released their video of them talking about the novelization of the movie, where it has... From what I can tell in that video, it has a lot of the stuff from the work print in it and uh, some other fun stuff. So check out that video, too. Check everything out. Just check it out. Check it out. All right. Goodbye.